Ho, 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 hey there, travelers. Do you want a balloon animal? I can make a snake or even a worm. Let's see if you can guess this one, though. Ho, 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 ho. Huh? It's a puffer fish. Uh... This doesn't look like one of the 150 different species of pufferfish. It just looks like a balloon, you clown. Well, that's my job. This week we're talking about pufferfish. Most puffer species occupy tropical and subtropical waters. They have a wide range in size from the dwarf puffer, which is a wee one inch all the way to the giant freshwater puffer, which could be up to two feet long. The diet of the pufferfish mostly consists of invertebrates and algae. Larger puffers will even crack open mussels, shellfish, and clams with their strong beaks. Poisonous puffers, which we'll learn about in just a minute, are believed to synthesize their deadly toxin from the bacteria that's in the animals they eat. For pufferfish, their coloration really depends on the environment they're in and what's most advantageous for survival. Some are really colorful, which is good advertisement for how poisonous they are. They let predators know that they're probably not the most delicious treat, and they'll definitely have a nasty aftertaste. Hey there, travelers! Are you sick of being eaten by predators? Well, if so, do I have the product for you. Introducing the color shirt. You'll be so bright, they may actually think you have a sour aftertaste. Pufferfish that live in areas with less clear water may appear more bland to help them blend in and avoid predators. Hey there, travelers. Do you want to blend into your environment to avoid predators? Well, do I have the product for you. Introducing the blender shirt. You'll blend in so well, they'll never even see you. Call now and get a buy one, get one free special with this and the color shirt. Wow, this really works. Pufferfish are the second most deadly animal on the planet. Shout out to the golden tree frog who has the number one spot. A single pufferfish has enough venom to take out 30 grown human beings. Their venom is 1200 times stronger than cyanide. Despite this, pufferfish sushi still remains a delicacy. In Japan, the sushi that's known as fungu can only be served by certified and licensed sushi chefs. If they make one wrong cut, it can most certainly mean death for some of their customers. Talk about food poisoning. <laughs> Enjoy your puffer fish. I prepared it just right. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Only I prepare pufferfish for our guests. You get out of my restaurant. When a pufferfish feels threatened, it'll blow up like a balloon. With its spiky skin, it'll puncture any unwanted neighbors and inject them with their venom. Their liver and kidneys also contain venom. So if they're ingested, their venom will course through their predator. Normally when I get scared, I just run away. Trav, it's time for your root canal. Whoa! Pufferfish really don't like to blow themselves up though. Scientists believe that pufferfish blowing themselves up is comparable to a human heart attack in terms of pain and stress. According to the IUCN, most species of pufferfish are considered to be least concerned, but some species are constantly being affected by the pollution that's found in our oceans. Participating in beach cleanups is an excellent way that you can help out pufferfish in the wild. Thanks for checking us out this week, travelers. This week's honorary traveler is Traveler Steven, who wrote into travelers at travstravels.org and requested the pufferfish. Thanks, Steven. And if you are as cool as Steven, make sure to email us and let us know any animal or conservation effort that you would like to learn more about. Keep on traveling. Hi, I'm calling about the buy one, get one free blending shirt and color shirt. Yeah, what colors are they? Are there pink? No pink? 
kind of deal is this? I thought this was America, home of the pink.